Seminole Pride Seafood echoes the same values that we have in our other products. It was the tribe finding a family company, the John and Carol Merkel, who have been a part of the seafood industry for years. It's where they're producing the, some of the best fresh seafood in this part of the world. So we knew that they're already a great company with great values and great products. When the opportunity came to uh, get into the seafood business, for me, that, that was an easy choice, you know. It was just a matter of finding a, a good partner that could deliver good quality products that we would be glad to put our name on. So we've been in business for 35 years, and over that time we've built up a lot of relationships with people, and we've partnered with those people to make sure that we have quality products. They want quality, and that's what we provide. They want food safety. That's what we provide. So the Seminole Pride Seafood was the perfect fit with our pride in seafood. We're working with a lot of local fishermen and helping them sustain their, their livelihood and giving them a market for us to get it to the consumer. When I think about what makes us unique, it is partly it is the products that we have, whether it's the grouper that's coming from the sea, whether it's tilapia that even come from overseas, or whether it's crab clusters that come from Nova Scotia. We are very careful in how we select, but I think that probably what sets us apart even more importantly is the way that we prepare. We have a unique uh, preparation mechanism to deliver a quality product at a, at, a, at a great price for a great eating experience. First step is to check the quality of the fish as it comes in the door. It's either brought in immediately to be cut to go out on orders or it's, it's iced down so that it stays cold and fresh. We cut everything to order. As we get orders into the system, the cutters will go into the cooler and bring out what they need. They'll cut it for the order. We use ozonated water which kills all the bacteria on contact. It uh, leaves no residue. It's actually just water and oxygen. Then we use vacuum packaging, which eliminates cross-contamination. But I also think about how we transport and how we are able to get the product to the end user. And, and the Merkels have invested in natural gas as, as a way to have that a, a less expensive and a, and a less impactful on the environment way of delivering that quality product to the end customer from the seed to the fork, so to speak, is that we want to be able to control every step of that from a quality point of view, but also to be, from a service point of view, whether it's from the resource itself, through, through uh, manufacturing, through distribution, and to the end consumer is being able to go into a chef or go into an operator and say, here's a suite of products that are going to match that price, value, quality with the service and the families that stand behind them. All together is a suite of products that you can trust, you can put on your menu, and you can be proud to produce. And the tribe will stand behind it, and the tribe will offer support to you.